Xpeng cars could be the next Tesla. Here's why. I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you're probably very, very familiar with the EV company Tesla. They've completely dominated the electric vehicle market with their affordable Model 3 and their new Model Y. And in addition, Tesla stock has been killing it in 2020. Now, along with Tesla stock performing very, very well this year, a bunch of other EV stocks have been booming. One of these EV companies is Xpeng. Xiaopeng Motors, better known as Xpeng, is an electric vehicle company in China based out of Guangzhou. Xpeng also has an office in Mountain View, California, and is traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Before I go into Xpeng's cars and services, let's go see how their stock has been performing since their initial IPO at the end of August. XPEV is the ticker symbol if you want to follow along. All right, so I have Xpeng's chart right here on Yahoo Finance. As I said, XPEV is the ticker symbol, and we can see over the past week that this stock has skyrocketed from its normal around 2022 all the way up to 31. Now, as I said before, the initial IPO was August 27th of 2020 and it opened around $23. And we can see basically since August, it's been steady, dropped a little bit, rose a little bit, but then there was a point, actually October 30th, where this stock just started going straight up. And you can see now as of November 5th, it's at $31 a share. So I'll get into why Xpeng stock rose so much over the past week a little bit later in this video, but let's move on to Xpeng's car lineup and what this company actually has to offer. So as soon as you Google Xpeng, you can actually see their results are the first ones on Google, obviously, but they have a pretty catchy slogan and they say intelligent electric car with internet DNA. That really sparks the mind. And I bet you all of the investors out there, they love to hear phrases like that. Oh, we're gonna invest in a company that has intelligent electric cars and internet DNA sounds like a winner. All right, so let's first start with their car lineup. Currently, Xpeng only has two models, a four-door sedan called the Xpeng P7, and then a four-door compact SUV called the G3. Let's dive into the Xpeng P7 and see what all the fuss is about. All right, so you can see we're on Xiaopeng or Xpeng's website, and this is their P7, their super long-range smart sedan. And you can see that this car starts from 220 29,000 yen, and in US dollars, that's around $34,000. So this car is actually pretty cheap from the starting price. Now to note, it does say post subsidies. So that's probably any tax subsidies, any other subsidies for actually having an electric vehicle. So let's dive into this P7. So we can see that off the bat, it looks like a pretty good car. I like the styling of it. I like that it looks futuristic and modern. If we scroll down, we can see they claim it's built on a smart electric platform architecture. So this includes things such as data bandwidth for obviously over the air updates, kind of like what Tesla does, along with other things. They claim data security module, 100% connectivity, and everything like that. So now we're looking at their X-Pilot technology. This is very similar to Tesla's autopilot. So this is their semi-autonomous driving system. Basically in this system includes everything that Tesla would have minus a few features. So there's obviously lane assist, there's parking assist, and all the things you would expect for a modern car that is semi-autonomous. Now you can see the three main features of X-Pilot that they're actually showing you are X-Pilot driving, X-Pilot parking, and X-Pilot safety. I won't go super in depth into the actual specs of X-Pilot just because this is an overview video of the company Xpeng, but let's scroll down and see what they have to say about X-Pilot. So they say X-Pilot driving experience, future driving today, and you always see this nice little image of all the sensors on the car, everything that it's watching while you're driving. It has things such as highway navigation, guided pilot, basically like autopilot on the highway. And then you can see their X-Pilot parking experience where it'll actually park your car hands-free, just like a lot of other vehicles nowadays can do. And they also highlight their safety systems for X-Pilot, 
things such as their 31 sensors and 20 plus active safety specs. Now here's where it gets a little interesting. Once we start seeing all the other features of this Xpeng P7, they do market it as a smart car. So we see intelligent cockpit, Xmart OS in-car system that's intelligent and obviously can listen to your voice. So I won't dive into all of these details, but basically you can think of this car as another advanced modern car that's very internet connected. Now let's scroll down to this sports sedan design they have going on. And this car looks very, very good in my opinion. So let's just scroll through some of these pictures, see how this car looks, and you can see that it is a very modern looking car. I love the rims, I love the LED lights for the rear lights and the front lights. They have things such as this frameless door, ultra thin instrument panel with that nice big screen that you can use for all of your entertainment purposes. Pretty cool lighting they have going on right there, along with things like their 3D touch control multifunction steering wheel. So that's pretty interesting and I'd love to actually see one of these cars in person, but that's kind of hard to do in America. Now I really like this leather seat. They say Napa leather sport seat and it looks very comfortable and it looks very elegant elegant, which I really like. All right, so we can see more shots like this luxury sports sedan driving experience. They claim to have a German luxury sport style chassis adjustment, which is kind of cool. They're kind of branding this car as a more European and Western leaning car rather than a Chinese car. And another thing they mentioned is the super long range, 706 kilometers, which is pretty far. And I think their supercharging capacity is around 175 kilowatt hours. So now that we've seen the Xpeng P7 really in depth, let's just briefly look over the Xpeng G3 that they have. This is their compact SUV. I won't go into detail, but let's just look at a few pictures. Now, to be honest, in my opinion, this G3 doesn't look nearly as good as the P7. Now, I do wanna mention that this G3 from Xpeng was actually developed a few years ago. So the P7 is newer and more modern. But you can see some people might say that it does have some style, it has a good interior along with all the tech features that the P7 also has. Okay, so why exactly has Xpeng stock XPEV skyrocketed this past week? And that's because of the sales numbers that Xpeng just released for the month of October. So I'll throw it up on the screen right now, but as you can see, Xpeng delivered over 3,000 vehicles in October of 2020, and that marks a 229% increase year over year. Now this year alone, Xpeng has delivered over 17,000 vehicles, which is a 64% increase from last year. Now, before you go and throw all your money in Xpeng stock, let me give you one disclaimer. This is a Chinese company, and Chinese companies are notorious for stealing intellectual property and actually repurposing things that American companies have already done. And there have been some accusations against Xpeng doing exactly that. They have hired ex-employees of Apple and Tesla that have worked on autonomous vehicle driving systems for both of those companies, and they've been accused of actually stealing the source code and using it in their products. Now, this has not been 100% proven. Obviously, Xpeng is not going to come out and actually say that they did this, but Tesla is still in a lawsuit against Xpeng because of this. So there's your warning if that bothers you. Again, Chinese company, so be a little bit careful and be sure to do your research. Now, if Xpeng can sustain growth throughout the rest of the year and into next year, along with adding vehicles to their current lineup, I do think that they'll grow at a pretty fast rate and they'll be a great competitor to the likes of Tesla and Neo. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I'll see you next time.